And in a unanimous decision, D.C. Council voted to overhaul its street vending laws, loosening restrictions and essentially decriminalizing street vending. Our Mario Carbone is live tonight in Columbia Heights, where some vendors have been fighting for years to see this legislation passed. And Marielle, you spoke to vendors who tell you they've been working under constant fear of arrest. Yeah, that's right. I actually spoke to one woman, Chris, who says uh, she's had to run from police right out on this very corner, sometimes four or five times in a day. And if she was caught, she'd face hundreds of dollars in fines just for selling her fruit out here. So she says this new legislation allows her to run her business in peace. As the afternoon rush moved through Columbia Heights Wednesday, Rena Sosa says she was able to work without fear for the first time in years. It gives us this peace that we have not had that I can tell you for over 13 years. I did not have peace in this place. Sosa sells fruit, juice and churros at the corner of 14th and Irving Streets Northwest. The job, her livelihood, has put her in daily jeopardy of arrest. For many years, we have been running from police. My kids helped me to watch out for the police. I have a daughter who is now 17 years old and spent all her childhood in this corner. And she helped me by saying, Mom, police are coming, and we would run. That's no longer the case. After district council passed this legislation Tuesday, decriminalizing street vending. For us, there is a satisfaction of knowing that we can be here freely and not having to be afraid of police coming. The legislation aims to make it easier for sidewalk vendors to become licensed and make a living. It removes criminal penalties for vending without a license, creates vending zones, waives unpaid civil citations related to licenses and streamlines the process to get a license. I personally feel like it's a new beginning and also an immense relief. Anna Limas, who also has a fruit stand set up on 14th, got involved in the fight five years ago. This change in the law means a win for all vendors. She says it's taken years of advocacy with vendors of all types uniting to make it happen. The change of this law is an opportunity for me to be able to open a business legally. For us, brighter days are ahead. And just like with any legislation, this still requires a signature by the mayor and then congressional review. Councilmember Brianne Nudeau, who is one of the sponsors of this, also says her next step is ensuring that this actually gets funded. Reporting live tonight in Columbia Heights, I'm Marielle Carbone, DC News Now.